Alrighty, I have a really, really, really good update for you guys today. Do you remember yesterday's video, or I think later today's video, where I talked about the Wonderland construction site trailer? Well, that trailer is gone. Um, lo and behold, you're going to see me. I, I edited a lot of it out, but I was trying to find it. You know, I was looking over here, looking over there. I was trying to find this trailer because that trailer, if you've ever heard me talk about it on the podcast even last year, wherever that trailer goes is where there is going to be a large-scale construction project, whether it be a large flat ride, um, there was the possibility of it being Moosehorn Falls. Um, but no, you'll see where that trailer went in just a second. Moosehorn Falls construction has come along pretty well. Um, over here by Thunder Run, a dumpster, a large-scale dumpster has been dropped off. Um, this is located near the other foot entrance into the mountain. So I want you to take note of that. So another foot entrance into the mountain. This dumpster is stored near. It kind of makes sense. Right there next to the fly, also near the mountain, is Canada's Wonderland's construction site trailer. So um, if you also notice, Thunder Run's old station building right there, the multi-faith buildings, doors are open. I want you to keep note of that, okay? So I'm not saying that's of importance, but all this is located around the mountain. A lot of the survey markings have been around the mountain. Um, if you're a Patreon, you know some information that I've shared on Patreon um, that I will not share in this video that is very informative to our um, 2024 season and 2025 season. So with some of that information, you can kind of start piecing together what you're seeing on the screen right now. Um, Outside of that, I do want to say that the thing that we thought was a footing outside the mountain was not actually a footing, by the way. It was the, the storage materials to support the tunnel um, that were all just stored under the tarp while they were gone for a week. It was just in a square formation, and it looked like it could have been a footing, um, but it was not. Um, but I will say, I'm trying to think of what's coming up on next on the screen, um, what you're about to see over here... Um, with the 2025 project, the tunnel, I have a lot to tell you. I've learned everything that is actually going on and why they're doing it the way they're doing it. Um, and it makes a lot of sense now. So over at Front Gate, a lot of work electronically inside that left building. That still continues. Um, there's going to be new systems, new everything. So that's really interesting. So it's going to be cool to watch. Um, the front gate is coming along nicely. And the new welding on Leviathan is coming along nicely as well. So those braces for the netting have gone up and will continue to go up. Um, and yeah, so that's all taking place at front gate. I'm really excited to see what the park has to say in a week or two about that. Hint, hint. Um, but yeah. Outside of that, nothing else going on over at Extreme Skyflyer. Um, but over at the 2025 project, um, they started drilling the tunnel. So it was really cool. Um, I caught the whole drill process for one of the footings. Um, not footing for coaster, by the way. Footing for tunnel. Um, so you're going to get to see that. Um, so definitely, I don't know. I personally thought it was really cool. I don't know if anyone's ever seen like the whole process to digging out a footing. But lo and behold, here it is, and uh, you'll get to see it. Um, outside of that, I'll describe what's going on. So again, this is all confirmed information that I have spent really hard work understanding. Um, so right there, all the supports in the tunnel. Why do you guys think that they would need to support the entire roof of the tunnel in the mountain? Look what's on it right now. Um, so <laughs> that tunnel on the regular basis would not be able to support that heavy of an equipment. Um, it needed that extra bracing throughout to hold that heavy piece of machinery. Um, so that is all the reason why those bracing are in there. So what's going to go on is they're going to dig these new footings for a new tunnel. Um, it is essentially the same width uh, and height as the current tunnel right there. Nothing is going to change from what I understand. They're just going to build a stronger and newer tunnel. So to put it into perspective for you guys, this tunnel that you're looking at right now has been in the park since opening year it is as old as the park so they're not obviously going to launch a brand new coaster into this old tunnel that has been there since the beginning of time um so essentially yes uh the bracing in the tunnel has been put in there to support this heavy machinery literally just to go up there and dig new footings to build a new tunnel around this tunnel which then they will go in and dismantle this tunnel why they do it this way don't ask me. I'm promising you that is what I've been told is going on. So I'm going to understand um, that that's just how they got to do it. 
Um, but yeah, so what you're seeing there is they send the drill in, they bring it over to that pile, they shake out all the dirt, they then put that drill back into that formation, that little cylinder metal formation, and they're going to drill down again, and it'll lower and lower and lower. So you're actually going to see that in about 30 seconds on this screen right now. So you're going to see them try and fit that drill bit right into that cylinder metal um, shape. And then they're gonna start drilling and it's gonna lower and lower as the ground gets deeper. Now, it's gonna take a while to do all these spots that they need to do it, okay? And I'm gonna explain why, the clay. So the further down you get, the harder and stickier that clay gets, the more they have to shake it off. It, it looks easy on camera, so to us watching right now, this looks super easy, but it's not. This machine, Every time it digs a little bit, all the clay sticks in there and it's not really digging any further. They have to bring it up and scoop it all out. And they gotta do this 10, 12, 15 times over for one footing. And then they gotta move on to the next little spot. You see all those little orange dots if you're looking really close on the screen there? Yeah, those are spots where this drill's gotta go do that. So this is gonna be a long process, but it's gonna be really cool to see um, because once this tunnel is exposed, from what I understand, there are a few holes in there inside that tunnel. Um, that will be uh, very telling. So really excited to see um, those holes once they're done. But here you are. Here's that like process where it'll get a little lower and a little lower. Um, but yeah, I don't know. If you were in our Discord server and I, so when I fly, by the way, I'm in my Discord server and I was flipping my lid. I'm, I love this stuff. If you know me, you know that anything construction at Wonderland, I love. I could sit there all day watching it in awe. I find what these construction workers do, these tradespeople do, so fascinating. I literally look up to um, just this whole job process, and I just have such an appreciation um, for everything that they do. Like, it's so cool. I don't know. I much rather watch a coaster get built than ride a coaster, truthfully. Anyone who knows me can vouch that that's a true statement from me. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, this was around 5.30 p.m., so it had wrapped up. Um, they are still working on that first hole. So to put that into perspective, they got about one hole done um, in a eight-hour day of work. So just think about that. This is going to be a long process over on the tunnel side. So I'm hoping that over on the Thunder Run side of things, we start seeing some work on going on over there while you know, the construction workers do their thing over here. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen on the other end of the mountain. If you want my honest prediction of what's going on over that mountain is they're going to dig a little hole, a new kind of tunnel entrance with a ramp that goes down to the basement for vehicles to get in um, over on that end. So over on this end, that's my prediction. They're just going to make it accessible by vehicles where you could normally enter um, via footpath. Um, I do want to touch on another thing. So... Um, if uh, you've heard me talk before about, um, what do you call it, the VIP area, um, my prediction is it's definitely going to be either the Extreme Sky Flyer bar or building next to Extreme Sky Flyer or Backlot um, Cafe will become the new VIP area. That is a prediction. Um, I have heard through the rumor mill, um, or I guess like I've been told, that Wonderland will be releasing um, a video, a cool video for you guys um, in about a week or two with all of the information about everything new for 2024. So I would definitely look forward to that. Um, I think it's going to be really cool. And the, the park put a lot of time into that. So I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to see um, everything new and see where they picked for the VIP area and the name for it. Um, why they removed Extreme Sky Flyer or their reasoning. They're going to talk about that from what I've heard. Um, and just, yeah, the front gate. So they're going to talk about that too. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited and, uh, yeah, I'm glad, I, I guess I, I'm happy I could share that with you guys about that coming out in about a week or two. Um, with that being said, I think that's all I have to say about the 2025 project. Um, again, really excited to see this unfold. Um, I definitely suggest self promo subscribing to Patreon. I post a lot of information. I just dropped my February newsletter and this one was packed with a lot of information. I had a really cool opportunity yesterday um, involving the park and I'm really excited for the future. Um, and yeah, let's just say like I'm working on something really cool for you guys, like really cool. 
Um, so I'll be excited to share more details about that as they unfold. Um, and thanks so much for supporting the channel and watching these construction updates. Don't forget to drop a like, okay? Drop a like, a comment. It helps the video get out there. And thanks so much. Um, see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.